only on News 3, Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew sat down in an exclusive interview with us reacting to one of his former sergeants being convicted of voluntary manslaughter for a deadly shooting back in 2019. Reporter Kelsey Jones brings us that story. Chief Drew only spoke with News 3 and he was very transparent throughout our conversation. He tells me former Sergeant Alvin Pearson is no longer employed with the department after a jury found Pearson guilty for the death of Henry Berry, also known as Hank. And Chief Drew also tells me that his heart goes out to both families. No one ever wants to lose a loved one. Um, so there's no winners. It's, it's just it's, it's a tragic situation. Chief Drew speaks out for the first time after a jury found 35 year old Albin Pearson guilty of manslaughter Thursday and the death of Henry Barry, also known as Hank. The deadly shooting happened back in December of 2019. Pearson and three other officers responded to Barry's home after a friend of the family says Barry was having a mental breakdown and called the police for help. Police had no arrest or search warrant, and when they arrived to the home, Barry tried to slam the door on the officers, but they entered the apartment and tried to take control of Barry, according to police. Chief Drew said a struggle followed that, started out with two officers, eventually creasing to four officers, and Barry got control of a taser. That's when Pearson shot Barry in the back and Barry died in his home. My heart goes out to the Barry family because they lost someone and my heart goes out to um, Trevor Pearson and his family. Do you personally believe that Alvin Pearson deserves to go to prison? My response to your question is I have to respect the judicial process. Do you believe Hank Berry's death was preventable? Could it be prevented? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I know that we continue to have to, to do the very best we can in the service we provide. Sergeant Pearson and another officer, Dwight Peterson, were involved in the shooting, but Peterson was acquitted of all charges in connection with this incident back in September of 2021. Chief Drew says the department's training procedures have been enhanced. It doesn't matter if it's domestic violence, traffic stop, disorderly call, racing, traffic enforcement, whatever it is, how do we continue to do better, to be progressive and, and, and give the best training that we can? Now we'll certainly look at things and what could we do better, what could we improve on, but I'll tell you, we do that routinely. Now, Chief Drew did speak with Pearson Friday morning. He would not share details about their conversation, but he shares this message. He's very, very strong in his faith, um, and I know he has a heart for service. Pearson's manslaughter conviction is a class five felony that carries a prison term of one to 10 years. He is out on bond pending his sentencing on December 9th. In the news, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.